What's up, YouTube? This your boy Jada. Sorry, come back with another update. Um, <clears throat> and I know I didn't do a video in a little while. I've been busy, been having a whole lot of stuff going on, so I haven't really been on YouTube. I probably did one in like a month and a half. I know I promised y'all I'm gonna start being more consistent, man. Sometimes it'd be hard though, but I'm working on it. But anyway, y'all, man, in today's video, I just want to talk about the title of the video is gonna be "Don't Work for a Company Like This." <laughs> When I say that, I mean, don't work for companies that are self-centered only around the customer. As a truck driver, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. You're going to work for a lot of companies that you come across, and they only going to care about the customer. And, of course, you got to care about the customer because they won't have businesses without that. They won't be able to pay us as drivers. But find you a company that also cares about you, too. You know, they, they put your wants and needs, you know. I'm not going to say ahead of the company, but... They prioritize your wants and needs because, and what I mean by wants and needs, like say if you're a route delivery driver like me, and I'm telling y'all this is because my company don't care about us. Like they say they do, but they really don't because it'd be stuff that's going wrong on the route, stuff that could have been handled at the warehouse, stuff that we can't really control the drivers, but they can be controlled somewhere along the line um, in the chain of command. And, you know, we can voice our opinions and then they don't fix it and it can make our jobs that much easier if they would fix it. Like when I addressed, um, I had a customer recently where I delivered to them and uh, it was nine pallets of like some buckets of chocolate. Mind you, nine pallets and it's a hundred on each pallet, hundred cases of it, hundred buckets, whatever. And I get to the warehouse to unload it, take it off with my pallet jack. They're like, hey, man, we don't take this, these type of pallets. Like as y'all know, if you drive trucks, you've been in the back of a truck, you've been to a warehouse. Most pallets are square shaped those regular square shaped pallets but this time uh the chocolate was loaded onto like some rectangular shaped pallets and i've never actually seen those this was my first time seeing them but they were made like in a rectangle shape and they were like small uh, the warehouse that i delivered to called them throwaway pallets they said yeah we don't use those so you're gonna have to restack everything onto the pallets that we accept and i'm looking at them like you think i'm about to restack 900 buckets of chocolate no i don't get paid enough i'm on salary at that this ain't my job so I call my boss and I'm like, I'm gonna make them get a lumper. And then at that point he wanted me to pay for it and then reimburse, they was gonna reimburse me. I'm like, why I gotta pull this money out of my account? I don't work for this company. I mean, I work for this company. I don't own any of it. I don't have no shares in this company, nothing. So at no point ever should I have to pay for an expense that's something dealing with the company, you know? But anyway, they wanted me situated and I didn't have to pay. Um, but they were trying to pull that on me, like, and just use me. Like, every company going to use you in some kind of way. But if they paying you to use you, that's a different story. That's one thing I can say I don't like about salary. But I just came on here to say, man, don't work for companies that only prioritize the company. Find you a company that do care about the drivers. Like that, you know, if you come to your boss and tell them, hey, man, you know, if you do this, just to make my job easier. Or as a driver, we need this. And they, I work for companies that will help you, you know, to a certain extent. My company, man, they, they don't care about us. They give me broken jacks, messed up trailers. Oh, I have like a messed up day. Or like for the last four days, I've been having messed up days every day. I've been something wrong. And I haven't even tried to fix it. And it's been the same issue. That's the crazy part, y'all. But try to find you a company that, and I say it's probably family-owned companies, smaller businesses, smaller companies that's in trucking. They're more tight-knit, and they take care of their drivers because they want to keep the same drivers. So, man. Y'all stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Also, shout out all my new subscribers. I seen y'all, I appreciate y'all for still subscribing. Um, y'all, man, hit me up in the comments and let me know some, some new content I can drop. Sometimes I really be lost on what I can do. And it's kind of hard to do a day in the life video because I don't have like a camera to carry around with me. And I can't always bring cameras inside the customers uh, while I'm doing the delivery. But I'm going to work on that too, though. Man, I'm still working on trying to get my own truck, and I'm looking for a new job right now, so that's what I'm working on right now. Bye, y'all.